and how do you we have to restore out. the damaged environments? Okay. First of all, I'm not interested in restoring damaged environments. First of all, it's in bringing the nations together. If they agree, sharing ideas and all, if you just repair the environment, they'll go right on with what they're doing. So I'm not interested in anything like making automobiles all electric, because if they go to war, they'll destroy them. If you just build a new city without changing people, they'll be bombing each other. So I'm more interested in people, the way they think, and get them to think in terms of restoring the environment, uh, rebuilding the reefs, and get them to want to join together. Now the nations that join together, say, might be 10. A lot of nations will not join, but they don't get a piece of the action. The nations that join together share ideas and resources. The nations don't are on their own. So if you want to live in a wooden house instead of a fireproof house, if it catches fire, it's your problem. If you're a member of the Catholic Church and you say to people, go forth and multiply, the Lord will provide. If he doesn't, do you really believe that? Because, yeah, sign here. And if the Lord doesn't provide, you will. If you get their signature, you're all right. So all we do is ask people to back up their beliefs. Now, there'll be people that don't want to live in the Venus Project. They're called Amish, and they'll have their own community. They think they can build, a lot of people believe this, they can build a community for sustainability. Just like, say, 5,000 people will build a community with rich soil and everything, and glass buildings to grow food, so many cells. If you do that, then the system dies minorities will be out of work and they'll kill you and take your land away. You can't live to yourself. Those days are. You must learn to live together and share the Earth's resources. Anything less than that, from my point, will not work. So I work on getting nations interested. They say, what can we do to help? Well, we, use, we need land. We were offered land in different parts of the world. But we also need concrete. We need grants. You know what that means? We need grant writers. You know what that means? There are people that specialize in writing grants. We can't do it with a lot of people that love the Venus Project that have no money. So we have to approach grant writers and get them to write to General Motors. Everybody that's got money that wants to build sustainable community. So we use the guise of sustainable community, safe automobiles, houses that go together faster and last longer. You can get money from many foundations, just build those units, build the first city called Sustainable, whatever you want to call it. Then invite people to come there and look at it. Would you want to live in that? Yes, sign me up for the next city. The first city will be the planners, people that work on design. The second city, we will level the old cities. Here's something you don't know. Nobody owns anything in the Venus Project. You can live in a house that meets your needs as long as you like. And you can move to Alaska, or you can move to cities in the sea and live there for four years. That's up to you. You don't own anything. There are hundreds of sailboats for your use. You don't have to fill out any forms or get along with fresco. You just take your family out sailing. If you don't know how to sail, there are teachers. Teachers teach you how to do that. So all the nations sit around a big plastic bubble, 40 feet in diameter, and the new city is proposed. And China says, Where's the recreation area? And it occurs. And Sweden says, is there a place for skiing? And it occurs. So all the nations participate in the design of the major cities. But they don't participate unless they have something to say. Like, uh, instead of saying, uh, 
who's going to work the schools? That's a question. And we show them how the schools work, how the new teaching system moves in. But you can't do that with ordinary people. You can't take their children away. Because it's the parents that spoil their children. They say you're Lutheran, you don't play with that Catholic, or you're Jewish, you don't play with that Italian. You know, parents lose kids up. So we have to get the kids away from parents without hurting them. So we have a film called Summer Camp. And everybody sends their kids to Summer Camp. When we get the kids there, we say your parents have grown up in India and they are scarcity oriented and this is their value system. Try to talk to your parents. If you can't reach them, let go. Don't hurt them. Don't call them names. Because they mean well. They're doing whatever they know. But we can't take the kids away from parents. If you do that, if you try to stop religion, it'll go underground. But point out to ministers how far we've gone from the teachings of Christ. I'm not religious. You know, I'm an atheist. Or, oh, I, I don't believe in gods, demons, devils, any of that. But I know there's millions of religious people. And if you attack them, you're going to delay the Venus project. So don't attack them. Just say, let's see if we can put it into practice and build a world where people, the brotherhood of man. That's all they're interested in. And you have to show them where they fail. Which it says in the Bible, judge not lest you be judged. That means don't do jury duty. Don't judge other people. And it says, love thine enemy. Do unto others, you have others do unto you. Say to God, do you believe in God? Do you believe in these the commandments? He said, well, you've got to be realistic in this world. And say, don't give me that shit that about you're a Catholic or you're a Protestant. You're not. You're an opportunist. You have to shame them in front of their congregation. Now, this is what Jesus wants the Venus Project, because there's no, nobody fat and rich and abuses other people or sets up a gossip column. There's nothing like that. That would be done on earth as it is in heaven. <laughs> That's what Jesus... No banks. Yes. Sure thing. So you use religion to turn them around.